So up next, let's have a look at how to install Docker on Fedora 28 flavor of Linux. So this is the operating system that I'm using. So if you go to getfedora.org, it says Fedora 28 release, get it now. Now this is as of August 15, 2018. So this is what I see as the most recent one. Now, just for the change, for this particular installation of, it, of Docker, I'm going to use the package-based installation, which is installed from a package, because in the previous uh, video, we had a look at how to install it from the repository, which is over here. Um, so, as usual, I'm first going to create a droplet, a digital ocean virtual machine. They call it droplets for Fedora 28x64 and I'm going to select the three CPUs version and I'll select the region and my SSH key and I'll name it Fedora Docker Tutorial. So once this is created, uh, we will go ahead and SSH into this machine. Upon SSH, we will go ahead and download the package so the basic instructions are as follows um, we'll download the package using curl command we will install docker from that package and then we will test drive docker basically try to run some images from docker hub say ubuntu or nginx or something of those sorts all right it looks it's almost done we'll give it a few more seconds all right that's done so i'll copy the ip address and I will SSH into this particular IP address. All right, so here we are. So now let me go ahead and download from the package. So I search for install we search for package install from package now it says go to this particular URL and choose your version of Fedora so I'll go to this URL and I'll choose 28 as my version for Fedora and I have the architecture as 64 I'll choose the stable version and I'll choose packages so this is what we want to install now we will install the most recent version which is as of 18th July 2018 it says docker ce 1806 so I'll right click on this or second click on this and I'll just copy its address now I'll go back to my terminal and I'll say curl this particular URL let me zoom it in a bit alright so curl this particular URL and then output this as docker ce.rpm alright so it starts to download once it's downloaded we should be able to see this file in our home directory so you can see the total size is 30 MB and this downloaded 30 MB now if I do ls I see docker ce dot rpm so this file has been downloaded let's go back to instructions now they say that install docker ce by using this command so I'm going to use this command it says path to package my package is in this directory itself and that's what it looks like Alright, so it's first fetching the most recent updates from Fedora system packages. That is done. Looks like some more updates. By the way, notice the internet speed we have over here. That's the reason why I'm using uh, a cloud-based machine as opposed to doing it locally on my system. My system does not give me more than a few MBPS machine, whereas over here I have a really good decent internet speed.
All right, let's give it a few more. Oh, that's that says does not have compatible architecture. Okay, it looks like we're using a wrong package. Let's go back to the list of packages. Oh, all right. So now I get it. So essentially, it was expecting us to have x86 64, and we gave it arch 64. So what we instead need is x86 64. So I'll go to x86 64. I'll go to stable packages, and I'll select the most recent one, RPM. All right. Now I'll remove. The one that I have already downloaded. Once that is done, I'll again do curl this hyphen hyphen output docker c dot rpm. All right, that is downloaded. That was super quick. Now I'll try to reinstall this using this installation command here. Docker CE dot RPM. All right, so finally it's installing. It's downloading the packages of 170 MB. That was like really, really quick. It has started installing the packages. So essentially, what it is doing is it is first installing all the dependencies of this particular package. For example, IP tables packages and lib nf netlink, whatever it is. All these packages are. Are, are dependencies now you don't really need to know what these packages do I'm just telling it to you for your sake of information it's good to be aware of what what's going on but you don't have to have to have in-depth knowledge of it so we do see some failure it says fail to generate binary but let's see overall it says complete so what if I try to start docker okay before we start docker let's actually see if docker is already running so you see docker is not running the only thing running which has docker in it is the grep command grep is just a way to search using regular expressions so now i'll start docker using the system ctl command shown here okay so it looks like it started didn't give any output now if i again search for docker now the docker daemon docker d is running and docker container daemon is running which means docker is now running now if I try to test drive it, alright, so it says hello from docker, this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly. So it seems our installation is successful, it's working fine. Let's quickly check the list of images we have. So we have the hello world image. Let's run Ubuntu and trigger bash command don't worry if you don't understand the command of run it we'll walk through it in a later video for now we're just trying it out just to see if it works as we expect it to wow that was like really quick so now if you look at images Oh, all right. So we are now in Ubuntu. That's why it's saying Docker command not found. So now if you try to look So you see we are now in Ubuntu 18.04 LTS If I exit out of it We are now in Fedora 28. So essentially this command, uh, it's, it's like a hack. It, it gives you the outcome of the file which has something hyphen release. And this file generally contains the data of the Linux flavor. So I just use this command once inside my Ubuntu container and once outside my Ubuntu container in my Fedora machine which I have running on DigitalOcean. 
to just tell you that we are in two different machines. Now when I'm in my Fedora machine, this is the machine, where, remember where we installed our Docker client, uh, the Iron Docker engine. So now if I do Docker images, it shows me both Ubuntu and Hello World. Notice the size of the image, it's just 83 MB. That's the entire Ubuntu OS you have in just 83 MB. That's the wowness of Docker. So that's it for this particular tutorial guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are liking my videos to be informed of more such videos. And stay tuned for more.